so thankful to see the sunshine today. This past week, we had a tropical storm roll through our area and pretty much the whole state of Florida. So it was a quite gloomy and ominous past few days, but thankfully it wasn't anything too intense, at least in our area, just a ton of rain and wind. So thankful to see the sunshine today and thankful to be spending time with you all. I went on a lovely bike ride this morning, which was a beautiful start to the weekend. And again, I just wanna spend as much time outside as possible today because it's so, so beautiful. I'm about to take my vitamins for the morning and wanted to share all of the details in case you're in the market for an incredible vitamin. And I wanna thank Ritual for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've been taking the Ritual Essential for Women vitamins for quite some time now. And I love them because even though I try my best to maintain and consume a healthy nutrient dense diet. There definitely are those nutrients that I can miss. So I love this vitamin because I take two capsules in the morning and they have nine key ingredients that can help me maintain my health and fill in those nutrient gaps. So I love these. And then I've also added the Symbiotic Plus to my vitamin routine. And this has been great for supporting gut health specifically because it's a three in one gut gut support supplement featuring clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. And this has been great. I just take one a day along with my multivitamins. And I love it because I'm really trying to invest in my gut health and maintain it. Because if you remember earlier this year, Brandon actually experienced some gut issues. So I also have him taking these as well. And I just, it was a good reminder to really make sure we are taking care of ourselves and investing in our bodies because that's so important to take care of yourself. And I also love Ritual because they truly invest in research and there's a lot of transparency. My multivitamins are USP verified, which means that all the ingredients that are on the back of this label are exactly what's in the product, which may seem obvious, but not all brands are USP verified. So that's really good to know. And Ritual also invested in a universal led clinical trial to quantify the impact of essential for women multivitamin and it was shown to increase vitamin D, omega-3, DHA, and folate levels in 12 weeks. So I love to hear it and it really does feel so empowering to do such a simple daily task like this like taking your vitamins. So if you're interested in ordering some for yourself, they actually are running a sale. So if you bundle with the Symbiotic Plus, you get 40% off. So a really amazing gift for yourself or someone you love who's trying to invest in their health, their gut health, etc. I really recommend Ritual. So I hope you love them as much as I do. And for the rest of the day, we do have quite the agenda. I have about eight places I want to run errands. So we'll see what we get to and see what we have energy for. But I was planning to kind of split it up between yesterday and today, but obviously mother nature had other plans. So we're going to try to do errands. And then I also want to tidy up our outdoor spaces because we brought in all of the outdoor furniture. So I want to, while we have it all cleared out, I want to go ahead and clean the surfaces on the porches and then also clean the furniture. So we have that on our list. And a few other things, so I'm excited to spend time with you all. out and about now I brought my notebook with all the errands I want to run today so that I don't miss anything because I feel like I am a little scatterbrained today there's just a lot on my mind so I'm trying to stay organized 
Okay, I already went to the thrift store. I didn't go inside, I just did a drop off. And then I just left Walgreens because I printed a few photos for the baby shower that we're hosting this weekend. This is my friend Faith, it's her baby shower. This is her firstborn too. Um, so this is her for her second baby and she's having a girl and her first baby was a son. So it's so exciting and I have these photos. I think that big one I'm gonna put in our entryway where I have the fall print now and then we'll do a little gift section there. There's so many crafts and DIYs I wanna do today for the shower specifically but I'm not sure how much we'll get to today, maybe later in the weekend, hopefully later in the weekend. And then I just have some smaller prints to sprinkle throughout the home. And let's see, next up, I need to get some gas, and then I also wanna go to World Market to look at their Christmas items, but also to look at their glassware. I also am going to an antique store, so I potentially might return any glassware that I find at World Market, but I'd love to see their selection. found a few treasures at World Market and I also went into Joanne Fabrics but I didn't find anything there. I, I've been really liking their seasonal decor but I didn't find anything that really stuck out to me. I actually did get something Christmas related last um, at the end of October so I'll show you that when I do a decor haul soon but from World Market I got some pokey sticks. These are for my friend who really loves them. And then I got these marshmallow cocoa toppers. They're actually vanilla flavored. And I thought this could potentially be cute for styling our little Christmas coffee slash cocoa station. And then the last item is glassware. I love glassware. And I was trying to get um, more, what's the word for it? Just timeless coupe glasses is what I'm looking for. But they didn't have uh, much of a selection, so I'm hoping the antique store has some gems. But this is the glass I got. It's actually very similar to one that I've seen on Anthropology's site. And I actually have one that's Snowman that looks very similar, but the Anthropology ones are a bit more narrow and it's different, but I thought this was cute. And you know we'll get our use out of it with iced coffee time, making some cranberry festive spritz. It's gonna definitely be a well-used glass this season. So now I'm gonna stop and get some lunch. I'm at a Cuban cafe I really love called Black Bean Deli. So I'm gonna sit down there, take a lunch break. I'm really getting hungry. So that'll be nice to fuel us up for the rest of our errands. was fabulous. I got a veggie platter which had plantains, black beans and rice, and a green salad which sounds simple but they have this homemade avocado dressing that's so delicious. Also got a cafe con leche and now I'm at the antique mall gonna take a peruse see what Christmas treasures we can find slash glassware slash a tablecloth. That's what's on my list and it's so cloudy now and looks like it's about to rain. I just uh, checked the forecast and it does say it's supposed to rain very soon. Not me being so excited for a sunny day and then the rain comes anyway, but it's okay. Hopefully it'll come through while we're doing our little antique stroll.
back home finally i've been gone almost all day all of those errands took quite some time but it was really fun and i'm thankful i got to spend some time making all these fun stops today so trader joe's i'll start with that i picked up some flowers for the baby shower we're hosting they did not have many <laughs> selections probably because the hurricane so thankfully they had some that i think will work but i was hoping to get more but I think we'll be good. I have these dried florals right here and then some more sprinkled throughout the house. So hopefully, and we might go to the farmer's market tomorrow so I can look there as well. And then I got some coffee and I got a cilantro plant and a basil plant because I want to add those into the garden because ours are not looking great. I didn't take, we didn't take our garden beds into the garage this time. So the storm definitely did a little bit of damage, but nothing too bad. And then I got these frozen macaroons for the shower as well. These are a crowd favorite and really easy on me. Then I got some cucumbers, fun carrots, these coconut macaroons. Is that how you say? Okay, one of them is macarons and one of them is macaroons. And I think I correlated correctly, which is which, but I may be wrong. And then my favorite Trader Joe's soup, the Ancient Grains Lentil Soup. So, so hearty and delicious. And then that's all for Trader Joe's. I'll have to go to the grocery store again, but the parking lot was so busy today. So I parked super far away and it was about to storm. So I didn't want to get too much stuff in case it started storming while I was in there. Okay, and then the next stop I went to, actually, let me show you the vintage stuff. I'm not gonna show you all of the vintage stuff I found at the antique market because I will show you when I share the Christmas decorating plan and haul. But, the, and some of it's wrapped up, so I wanna just keep it nice and secure for now. But I'll show you some. This is one of the pieces. It's a vintage apron, and it is so darling. I love the little pocket with the bow and the fabric. It's just so cute and it's in such beautiful condition. So we have that. And then this really, really sweet tablecloth, which I did get a tablecloth. I was hoping to get a tablecloth that I can use for the baby shower, but I didn't see any that were fitting. And then I got two records. I got a Bing Crosby record. Oh, I'm so excited about that. And then I also got this one for my friend Liz, who's hosting a retro Christmas party. I want to give her this. And then that's all I'll show you. Oh, I'll show you these too. And then these tiny miniature taper Santa Claus candles. <laughs> They're so sweet. I don't know what I'm going to put them on though. I guess I'll look for miniature ta taper candle holders. So we'll be on the hunt for that, but really excited to style these pieces. And I do plan to decorate for Christmas next week. I was going to plan to decorate a little earlier, but the storm definitely switched things around a bit. Okay, and then I went to this new store that just opened a couple weeks ago called Gold Dust Home. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. It's uh, owned by two sisters, which is really sweet. Okay, I got this card that says Baby in Bloom for my friend's baby shower. It's so perfect because that's kind of the theme of her baby shower and it's just the cutest card ever. So I think I'm going to use this as decor, but I'll also write a sweet message in it for her. And then this kitchen towel. So cute. Okay, that's pretty much the rundown. I'm talking fast because we only have about an hour left of daylight due to daylight savings, which typically, now that I don't work in an office, I used to not like daylight savings when I worked in an office and I would leave work and then it'd be dark and I feel like the day is over. But now that I work from home and have a bit more flexibility, I don't mind it as much because it does feel like cozier and winterier at night. So those are my thoughts. But today I really could use some extra daylight because... I need to clean the furniture outside. We just moved some of the furniture and it is so beat up. Like we should have just brought everything in before it started raining because it's just getting like mildewy and moldy because it's so humid and wet out there. So I'll try my best to scrub everything down, make it look good. And then we also need to make bread. 
I'm gonna start on the dough, but tomorrow we're going to a Friendsgiving, which I'm excited about. And I'm gonna bring sourdough and like a maple whipped butter for the Friendsgiving. It's like a potluck style. So I need to start making the dough for that. That's the plan, let's do it, turbo mode. to mention I picked up these beauties at the nursery Palmer's nursery <laughs> that's what it's called also our bougainvillea is starting to bloom see the little flowers in the middle and the bracts are what actually make the color so the bracts are leaves and the bougainvillea will hopefully be an extra extra bloom as we get closer and closer to winter time because when it has an excess of rain and moisture it actually produces less bracts in color so as the season dries up, hopefully we'll get more of this gorgeous color. them in a bunch of different smaller vessels and then we'll scatter them out throughout the home maybe outside when we have the baby shower later this weekend I took a nice shower Palmer's coming to join the party okay do you want to see something terrifying I have quite the project I want to do tonight but oh I'm not excited okay this is our storage closet it's underneath the stairs and it is a mess. It's a combination of stuff that I have for Christmas decorating and DIYs and then I have some camera equipment and a lot of baby shower decorations and stuff for crafts and whatnot. So I just want to go through it and organize because I have this shelf in the back where I have like some other craft stuff and I want to pull out the shelf to use for this weekend and that's just a daunting task and this shelf is too cute to be in the closet anyways so one day i do want to get more shelves and organization but it's just not high on the priority list right now but let's go ahead and sort this closet and try to add a method to this madness
did it. It honestly looks worse now though because there's no shelf to organize, but I would like to research some different shelves that would actually take up more space and provide more storage. So if you have any ideas or any suggestions, please let me know and it honestly would be good to go through everything and make sure I'm not holding on to anything I don't need because it's definitely quite full in here. I really can't find a good spot for this shelf. That's why it ended up in the storage closet in the first place. I think it'll end up going upstairs eventually, but yeah, I'm trying to, cause I want to use it to style pieces for the party. And I thought maybe it could be a great place to put teacups and mugs for coffee and tea. And maybe I'll still do that, but I might end up putting it outside because it's supposed to be such a pretty day. So we could maybe have the coffee tea outside, but then it might get cold. I don't know. I need to sit on it and dwell on it a little bit longer. Good morning. It's the next day and I am ready to clean the porch furniture. And I actually want to start out with some gardening, just pruning. There's a lot of dormant flowers in our flower bed. So I'm going to go ahead and trim the zinnias. The zinnias did so amazing for us. They were so lovely, but it is time. So I'm going to trim those down and then a lot of other ones. And then I'm also going to plant those herbs we picked up yesterday from Trader Joe's. And then I just want to repot some florals I got as well to put at the front door. So that's the plan. And then I'm going to make a cleaning uh, solution concoction for our outdoor cushions. I'm going to do a mix of vinegar, soap, dish soap, and then water. And my secret ingredient that I've never cleaned furniture with is Folex. I recently got it for our rug in the living room and it worked amazingly. I was blown away. I, I can't believe how well it worked. So I'm hoping it works really well with the outdoor furniture and I feel pretty confident using it out there because of how it reacted indoors and in our in our rug, which is a much trickier type of material. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm just not gonna use too much of it, but I'll show you what the Folex looks like because I've heard so many good things about it for years and years, but this is my first time trying it. Well, it was my first time trying it on the rug and I'm just, again, in awe, it works really well. So. That's the plan for this morning. I also did some cricket crafts this morning, which was really nice and watched the Great British Baking Show. So had a bit of a relaxing start, but now it's time to clean the day away. duo I'm using to try to clean our outdoor cushions. I have the little green machine, which this has been really helpful to have. I, in the solution, in the cleaning solution, I have a mix of Folex, which I've been raving about, and dish soap and water. Sometimes I'll also put vinegar in the past when I didn't have Folex. So we'll see, we'll see how it works. Hopefully it'll make a difference. Oh gosh, 
Ew, how dirty the cushions were. I think it made a difference. I think some of them are just permanently stained, but hopefully the sunshine will help burn up some, <laughs> I don't think it works that way, but burn off some of the stains. Another project, Palmer is very interested in this one. I also ordered these plant supports for, specifically for my Monstera. It came in a pack of two. So I don't know if I'll need the other one for a different plant, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to prop up the leaves with this. It's looking okay right now, but sometimes it gets super floppy and it just thankfully is really doing well, but could use some extra support. talked to you was on Saturday before Friendsgiving and since then it's just been go 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 celebration celebration I'm so thankful but definitely needed some rest time yesterday after the shower and I wanted to give you a recap on how everything went so we went to Friendsgiving which was so sweet a really sweet time our friend Camilla hosted it and put it together and she is a phenomenal host she just really goes all out and her attention to detail is amazing she adds all these cute little touches so that was such a treat and then she helped me host the baby shower on Sunday so of course she was so helpful in adding so much decor and food she did the cake so really thankful for her and the shower was a really special time it was just such a warm and comfy and just inspiring time to be with women and celebrate our beautiful friend faith and something really special that we did is instead of like having a group sec uh, or group game or time where she opened gifts she wanted us all to share something that there were a lot of mothers there so a lot of people who were already moms shared something that they're proud of in their journey of motherhood so that was really special and then if you aren't a mom you could share something about your mom or mother figure in your life that you really appreciate and really value so that was just a really special time I absolutely want to do that at my personal baby shower one day because it just really was so grounding and such a reminder of this beautiful step and phase of life and just journey that so many women are on so that was just a really beautiful time and there was not a dry eye every single person was in tears because it was that special and that meaningful so I'm so glad we were able to do that and everyone was just so open I mean it's such a beautiful opportunity to like have a safe and open conversation where you can share those like tender feelings so that was so lovely and I wanted to share just some details I'll try to insert pictures of some of the decor I took a couple videos but <laughs> I was we were kind of scribbling to get ready in time so I didn't get too much footage and it also was raining it barely ever rains in the morning um, in the in the fall and winter time in Florida but well with Florida you never know I I say that but then a couple days ago we were in a tropical store where it rained all day so yeah you really never know but thankfully it rained right before it started but during it it didn't rain at all and it was really sunny and beautiful out but I had like a little setup outside I put an umbrella up and two chairs and the rug and wanted to make a little seating area but I was a little limited because of the weather but thankfully it worked out fine and then we also set up a tie-dye station, which was really cute. I actually just washed the tie-dye uh, onesies in baby socks. And this is how they turned out. Look at these socks. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Precious. And then here's some of the onesies. They turned out really, really cute. And basically, I just set it up so that I put two different dyes well they were the same pink dye but i just diluted one more than the other so it's like more pigmented than the other one so as you can tell some of them are darker some of them are lighter so it turned out really cute and i just had people do the rubber band so they could format their design and then squeeze the tie-dye 
on the onesie and then just put it in a bucket and then I washed it all later so just to make it streamlined and easy and everyone was in pretty dresses so I didn't want it to be a messy experience. And then a couple other DIYs I did. I did a couple signs with my Cricut, which I love having a Cricut. That's really helpful. And then I also made these tissue paper flowers, which I was originally going to put these on the vine trellis where we have the star jasmine. But due to the rain, I thought they would just kind of get all sad looking because of the wetness of the vines. So I just kept them inside. And originally I wanted to make a lot more of these, but... Did not get to it so I just had a couple of these inside but these are really easy to make you just take a couple pieces of tissue paper and then I just did the flower shape and then kind of crunched it up so it has some texture and then in the middle I added some Spanish moss so that's pretty much how we did that and I actually had similar flowers at my wedding which this beautiful friend of mine she did most of the decorations for our wedding and she um, is really talented. She actually does the um, displays for anthropology. So that was kind of a, an idea I got from our wedding, but it worked for a garden party shower. Oh, and also these teacups I ordered for the baby shower. And I think these are so cute. Oh, I think I have some coffee, some latte remnants. I'm sipping on a latte, but these are so precious. They came in a pack of six. So great for a party and they're really good quality so i thought that was a good find but yeah really thankful for this weekend i definitely felt very tired after and needed some rest i am i'm currently it's currently my time of the month today just started so i feel like that kind of played into my level of energy i was definitely lower energy but it all worked out and again so thankful for this weekend and all the celebrations all the things of life worthy of celebrating it's really really special and i'm so thankful for you all i'm excited to work on some christmas videos this week and probably all the rest of the videos you'll see for the next month and a half will be christmas related super festive and we'll make lots of sweet memories together but again super grateful for you i hope you're doing well and i cannot wait to see you next bye